too. There's quite a bit of big mathematical equations going on in the shaft right now. Mm -hmm. uh, can you give me a hint as to whether they mean anything or whether they're yeah, an they're, application? They're, they're basically um, equations that are mechanics of materials equations and how how bending is calculated, how torque is calculated, how how mass moment of inertia is calculated. None of them are you know particularly novel. They're just basic again mechanics of materials equation to, to kind of give that give it a techie look and make people you know go hey wow what's this this is pretty cool there's you know there's engineers and physicists who play golf that may understand a lot okay. of it, but, well i don't <laughs> yeah yeah it's just yeah again it's just something something to look techie i love it um do you have an idea right now where you're going to be in the weight flex range for your options for the Bryson product, which the working name going to market right now is going to be Trono, and Trono is a Latin word for throne. Um, that product, because of what it is, because it's a very stiff, very stable product specifically made for the, the high ball speed player, um, that's going to be limited, at least at first, to 65 grams SX and Torx, and then 75 grams in an SX and Torx. We don't feel at this time that it make it would make a lot of sense to have that profile in an R flex. As you start bringing the ball speed down, that profile, a lot of R flex players need help getting the ball up in the air. A lot of them need a little bit more backspin. Um, that's not what that shaft does. So bringing that shaft into a, a 55 gram realm in an A or an R flex, at least at this point, and we may prove ourselves wrong. Um, the initial introduction will be S and X and 65 and 75 grams. The Olus product, because it is more of a, a product that it's not just geared towards high ball speed, it, it will be a product that the initial launch and then follow on launches will have a variety of characteristics to fit the variety of players. Those that need to bring the ball down, those that are good with their ball flight, those that need to get the ball up with more spin. Um, so that product line will start at 55 grams in an AR and S, 65 grams in an RSX and TX, and then 75 grams in a SX and TX. Um, but even saying that, something that popped into my mind is one tour player who's currently using the shaft, uh, Jason Duffner, has already asked if I can make a 55 gram TX for him. He'd like to see if he can get a little bit more balls. Oh, sure. So. I can make it, you know, is it going to perform for them? Hopefully. One problem when you get, the biggest thing you fight when you go lighter weight in shafts is controlling the torque. Mm -hmm. because then, you know, how do you go lighter in weight? You take the material out. But you need to maintain the flex because an S flex at 75 grams should be an S flex at 65 grams should be an S flex at 55 grams. That doesn't change. So you really can't mess with the material that controls bending. So you got to take the material out of what I refer to as the torque core. So as you get lighter, the torque goes up, and that's what I'm worried about with the 55 gram Torx for Jason. That maybe it won't have enough torsional control to it. So when you go from your weight ranges, anywhere from 55 looks like 65, 75. How much, especially not just through the weights, but also through the flexes, how much is the characteristics of the shaft going to change in terms of a launch and spin perspective? It's not going to change a lot because what I've always tried to do in my design career is maintain the flex profile regardless of the weight, such that the 55 gram, 65 gram, and 75 gram, if you look at the EI curve or you look at the frequency profile or, or however you measure the, the bending profile along the length of the shaft, that remains the same regardless of the weight. Again, it's the torque that changes. Now, torque does have an effect on launch conditions. So as the torque goes up, you might see a slightly higher ball flight with more spin. So you would expect a 55 gram, even if it's an S flex, you're probably going to get a slightly higher ball flight with slightly more spin than the 65 gram. But as far as the bending profile, and that's another key, very, very good advantage of using a taper tool, straight taper tool, like the Olus is on, because it makes it very, very easy for me to change weights without having any effect whatsoever 
on the bending profile because there's no parallel, there's no change in contour that as I move the shaft up and down the tool, that change in contour changes locations on the shaft itself. Straight tape profile, I can move it up and down as much as I want. The contour remains exactly the same, so the bending properties remain exactly the same.